بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم احمده واصلي على رسول الكريم اما بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربي قد اتيتني من الملك وعلمتني من تاويل الاحاديث فاتر السماوات والارض انت ولي في الدنيا والاخره توفاني مسلما ونحكم الصالحين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال محمد <تصفيق> Sister Yusuf is just such an awesome story. It's such an awesome surah. And one of the awesome things about this awesome story and this awesome surah is it teaches you certain truths about understanding events. You see, You can tell the coming and understand the events through dreams, which the Prophet ﷺ said is 170th of prophethood, according to some of the narrations. <coughs> other narrations mention other, other percentages, like 1 out of 40 or 1 out of 70, so on and so forth. But Prophet Yusuf ﷺ was given the ability to tell the events as they're unfolding. And this surah tells us, since this is a Makki surah, it told us, it foretold us that a day will come where the Prophet ﷺ will forgive the people that had uh, oppressed him and suppressed him the way Yusuf ﷺ oppressed his brothers. <coughs> there are a few realities that if you understand about events, and then it is the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that history will always move in a certain direction. The first principle of ta'wilul ahadith, the in understanding and the understanding, the interpretation of events uh, that are around you. The first principle is... <coughs> That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is haq, truth, and truth will always come out. The truth will always dominate because Allah is al zahir He's the most dominating, and Allah is al haq and the truth always comes out. And as in the case of the Prophet ﷺ, that when he was on the truth, the truth came out and manifested itself, and the Prophet said ﷺ, the same words that Yusuf ﷺ mentioned, there's no there's no there's no revenge on you today there's no revenge the sunnah of allah is if you are truly righteous and you have righteous character then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will use you and give authority and power to you for the establishment of that truth in the future <coughs> in the future eschatology when the truth becomes dominant, as the truth becomes dominant, as Islam becomes powerful, as Islam moves away from being under the bottom of the well to being imprisoned to finally being with the king, right? When you find yourself in that position, that will be a time the Muslim Ummah will be able to look at its Christian brothers and sisters and others and be people of the book, different groups of them and be able to say La there's no revenge now we're not going to take revenge for all the colonization the imperialism the murder all of that is we take it as qadr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we want you to go into jannah with us so no taking revenge and we have to have that sublime character of the prophet sallallahu in the sublime character of Yusuf والسلام, for Allah to use us for bringing about the truth. Without the character of Yusuf, without the character of our beloved Prophet وسلم, without the character of the Mahdi and the people that will be around him who will be able to forgive those that had wronged them, the truth will not emerge. But the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that the truth has to emerge. Just the issue is 
فَإِن تَتَوَلَّوْ If you turn your backs, يَسْتَبْدِ الْقَوْمُ غَيْرَكُمْ Allah will bring another people. Allah will bring another people to do, bring about هُوَ الَّذِي أَرْسَلَ رَسُولَهُ بِالْهُدَى It is Allah who sent His Messenger with Al-Huda, the guidance, وَالدِّينِ الْحَقِ in the true just system. لِيُذْهِرَهُ To make it dominated. Okay? To make it dominated عَلَى الدِّينِ كُلِّ Over all other ways of life. Now notice in the surah, I'm going to show you different aspects. <coughs> Uh, so over here, I'm going to show you this. So you know the wife, the worst thing that can happen to a mu'min is what? Is to be slandered uh, a man, a mu'min man, is to be slandered by a woman uh, that he did uh, a, a something like a rape, right? So qalat imra'atul aziz. So finally she said, al-an, now, now. See the truth has come. Why is the truth come? Because you have a character like Yusuf al-Haqq. So now the truth has, now the truth is become apparent. And then she says, I tried to, you know, persuade him, right? And he is the one that is truthful. Okay, just in the English translation, right? The governor's wife said, now the truth comes out. So part of Ta'wilul Ahadith is the truth comes out. You can try to throw your little brother in the well, but the dua of Yaqub will save him. Okay, if there are truthful people, if there are really truthful people, and having the truth, what is the sign of that? Is that you come with a certain noble character. If you have that character, and the truth is in you, and you're one of those people that can forgive the other people, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will use you for his deen. He will use you for his Islam if you're able to do that. And so it's very hard to do sometimes. But if you do that for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah will use you for his deen. Now, they tried to put him in the well, and what did Allah do? Allah brought out the truth. Right? They tried to hide it from their dad. Allah brought out the truth. The, the nature of events is that Allah brings the truth out. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put in that place true believers, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring out the truth, meaning the, what the, very, the believers carry. And you could be in jail, and if you are carrying the truth tomorrow, you could be with the king. You could be the, the king, and the king takes a back seat because he trusts you. And so, technically, what? Yusuf والسلام, was the king, you can say, <clears throat> because the king trusted him so much. Right? So, no matter how much you hide the truth, Allah wants to bring out the truth. They want to extinguish the light of Allah with their mouths. But Allah will complete that light that they're trying to extinguish. No matter how much the disbelievers, they want to extinguish the light. They can't because the nature of things, the nature of reality, the nature of events is the truth comes out. If you are arrogant, then Allah will send a little child to ask you a question that you can't answer. This is the nature of things. And if you are on the truth, you will not only have the truth, but you'll have that peace and tranquility and that noble character. And even if people do wrong to you, then you're able to forgive and move on. And that, you know, is a tall order sometimes. That's a difficult thing sometimes. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us all the the sublime character to carry the truth the sublime character to carry the truth because the hypocrite can't have the truth the one who becomes overly angry while arguing cannot have the truth it's that simple the prophet said for when he argues he becomes overly angry if we're in our chat rooms, if we're in our discussions, if we're having a certain opinion, especially if it's an ijtihadi issue, and you become overly angry about it, overly obsessed about it, and angry about it, then there is something wrong with me, and also the other people that are overly obsessed over a trivial issue, 
but because the level of hypocrisy we have within ourselves, right? The, the, the dirt within ourselves that we sometimes don't see, we become overly angry. And that is the true reality of ours. That Allah, Allah brings out the true reality. He brings out the truth. And so, you know, when Yusuf والسلام, had that dream and he told his dad, his dad said, don't tell the others, right? Don't tell the others because Yusuf والسلام, understood the temperament of his children. And what <coughs> people may be jealous, people can plot, people can plan, but the truth comes out and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, will bring, make Islam dominant in the world. As the Prophet has said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, la yabqa ala zahar al ard No, there will be no house in the surface of the earth illa adkhala Allahu fiha kalimat al-Islam. Except Allah makes the kalima of la ilaha illallah enter into it. No matter how much people try to suppress it, the truth, this conflict between haq and batin, this conflict between truth and falsehood, this conflict between what happens as a result of good character. The Prophet said, وسلم, a person of good character, a person who's good to his parents, Allah will increase their life. Right? A person who is good to their relatives, Allah will increase their life. There is a certain result of good character, and good character is the repository of truth. And bad character is the repository of something that may look like the truth, but ultimately it's falsehood. So this is what I wanted to show you from the life of Yusuf والسلام, that how truth wants to come out. Whether it is being slandered, whether it is uh, you're trying to kill your brother, right? Whether you're trying to suppress the truth, truth will come out. Okay? It just takes time. It just takes time in the macro level. Truth will come out. And that's the sunnah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you, because Allah is al-haq, he's the truth. And if you're on the truth and you have that sublime character of the truth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you with the truth. Right? How many times we do something wrong and our parents find out? Or the children do something wrong and you find out? How many times you do something wrong and it's like, it's just magically people found out you did something wrong because the truth comes out the truth comes out and that's why we do istighfar and ask Allah to cover our faults because we don't want the truth to come out in that in that sense but the truth is that the sins of other people should be hidden so that's also the truth right and the truth is if you if you do something and you're conspiring against the truth itself then the truth will try to the truth will engage you, will force you, and push you until it comes on top, and it will win, and you will lose. And so, this is one of the lessons of Sultan Yusuf. And over here, I want to share with you <coughs> one of the du'as of this surah. Uh, so when, you know, the, the truth came out and it became uh, very clear, uh, and notice uh, these words, right? I want to share this with you. قالوا, they said, أنت, in, أنت Yusuf. Oh, you are Yusuf. The truth has now come out. You are really Yusuf. You are really that Yusuf. Right? Uh, and then sabr. Sabr brings out the truth. True sabr, salah, and istighfar. Uh, okay, that, uh, and then let me show you this dua now. Prophet Yusuf Ali, and this because is in the Ahsan al Qasas, is in the best of the story. Some people say this is the best of the duas. Rabbi qad ataytani min al mulk. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have given me of mulk, control, and authority. Wa'allamtani, and you taught me. Right? Through the process of understanding how Yusuf was in the lowest of low and how the truth just came out. And you taught me the interpretation of events. Right? 
You are the originator of the heaven and the earth. That is the ultimate truth. Okay? And the wali, you are my wali, you are my friend. Because the, Allah is the friend with the one who is on the truth, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always support the truth, right? <coughs> so, and the wali fi dunya wal akhirah, you are my wali in dunya, whether I'm in prison, whether I'm in the well, whether my brothers are jealous of me, and the wali, you are my friend. And the wali fi dunya wal akhirah, tawaffani musliman. Then let me die as a Muslim. وَأَلْحِكْنِي بِالصَّالِحِينَ And place me and put me and in, in, in join me with the people that are righteous. Right? Uh, so, ذَلِكَ مِنْ أَنْبَاءِ الْغَيْبِ نُوحِي إِلَيْكَ O Prophet Wasallam, These are the things of the unseen that we relate to you. Okay? The point being is that this surah teaches you what? Interpretation of coming events whether it is through dreams or understanding situations, right? So now that we have this Circus 19 thing going on, the truth comes out. But people have to be able to see that the truth has to come out. But the more our character is, is un-Islamic, we may know the truth, but that knowing the truth will not have its proper effect and its proper barakah and its proper response and its proper engagement. Okay, we live in a time that's very confusing. We question everything and we question everyone. And a lot of us have been hurt by other people. But the people on the truth have that tranquility where they can forgive others, forgive the past, let go of the past, and move on the future. That is the reality of the truth. If you're on the truth, then you know what happened in the past is the qatr of Allah. No one hurt anyone except by the will of Allah. No one hurt anyone except it was already written. And if you are really on the truth, then it should be easy to forgive other people who've done in debt, bad things to you in the past. That forgiveness, like Yaqub forgave his sons, right? And Yaqub had sabr, and he forgave his sons, and even questioned, even when they said we, right? They, they, they lied. They came with, uh, they came with the shirt with the blood on it. They lied. They said, look, dad, the wolf ate him. They gave him the story and the truth came out. But the truth only came out because it was Yaqub that was being told this lie. Right? The truth came out because there were righteous people there at that time. The more righteous we are, the more truth will come out because truth wants to come out. The more we're forgiving and letting go of the past, the more we can say to the people who have wronged us, like Bilal, Khabab bin Ard, and other companions of the Prophet, uh, you know, for example, um, when Yasser and Sumayya were killed okay, in front of their son, their son, the, it wasn't like the Prophet said, I forgive you, and the people inside who had been oppressed, they were like, no, but we want revenge. No. Ahmad bin Yasser was like, okay, the Prophet said, we forgive, we forgive, right? They can let go of the past, so have a new beginning. That's what the Islam will do to the world. That when Islam is in prison right now, when all of a sudden Islam comes to the top, when it, all of a sudden Islam comes to the truth, it won't happen unless that character is first found within us, unless there's a group of people that have that true character to carry the truth. And so the future is, the truth wants to come out. The future is, Allah will bring about people that will carry that truth. The future is, Islam. That is the interpretation of events. Then there are other aspects in the surah that have to do with interpretation of events, but I'm not going to go into those right now. I only wanted to mention two. You have to be have the character to carry the truth, to be used by Allah for the truth, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decided that the truth will come out. The truth has to come out. And the truth will come out. Aqul qawli hadha. And Allah maj'alna. May Allah make us of those people who are carriers of the truth. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those people that who know how to do ta'wil al-ahadith. Know how to give interpretation of events. Have foresight into events and things. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of the people who have true dreams. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of the people who have that noble character that can forgive people and let go the past, even if we've been victimized and hurt by other people. So, aqulu qawli hadha astaghfirullah wa lakum wa nisa al-muslimina wal-muslimat astaghfirullah, 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 Allahumma salli ala Muhammad.